true leaders always bring clarity and make a call. Uh, the second is they generate energy, recognizing that all of us are in this together and finding ways to renew energy for the challenges ahead. And finally, leaders must accept that we're never going to live uh, in a constraint-free world. Uh, finding a way to deliver results and success in spite of the constraints is what leaders innately do. Frankly, we're always in need to be working on these things. You can never build these muscles uh, without going to that daily gym uh, of leadership exercise. Uh, and that's what you do throughout your career. So in all the companies that we've studied that are able to innovate time and again, there's a lot of transparency. And there's also this belief that you can challenge anything. In some ways, nothing is considered sacred because one of the problems you're probably already having as a founder and any senior leader has is people stop speaking the truth to you. Unbossing is, is, a, is a new word for an old concept, the concept of servant leadership, which goes back centuries. And it's underpinned by a fundamentally a belief that human beings are, when properly inspired, are fundamentally going to work tirelessly towards a mission. Mm -hmm. And as a leader, your job is to create clarity. Uh, try, we say draw the lines on the tennis court or the soccer pitch, create clarity, create the expectations, clarify the strategy, and then get out of your people's way and be about removing obstacles rather than exerting control. And the pandemic has been a beautiful example of forcing our leaders to have to give up a lot of control because you don't have a lot of the control levers. If you empower your people, sometimes you even watch them um, make mistakes. But this idea of that we work on it together, we fail together, but then we also pick ourselves back up together um, is a great way of really creating a bond to create trust within each other and to push forward. One of the worst things that can happen to a leader is to get isolated from the people who are doing really carrying the organization forward. And you've got to think proactively as you grow how you avoid that isolation so that you so that people will really tell you what's going on. The last thing you want to know is about a disaster when it's about to overwhelm the company as opposed to when people who are down doing the core work begin to see the problem emerging. You want them to surface that so that they feel comfortable and they have to trust you.